All right, so we're going to be talking about the prospects of who Kyle Kalinske may be 1v1 debating at Politicon. Now, I do want to know who you guys think he should be debating out of the three options that were given to him by Politicon. And I'm going to break it down and give my opinion on who I think he should debate. But obviously, there are going to be differing opinions. So I do want to know who you guys think out of those three that were given to him by Politicon. Uh, Kyle was originally scheduled to debate and Coulter 1v1. It was confirmed. It's been confirmed. for. It was confirmed for a while to the extent, I believe, that the time frame in which it was confirmed is longer than the time left before Politicon. Uh, so she ended up backing out, which in my opinion is extremely unethical to accept a debate and then pull out with less than two weeks left. I just find that to be not only is it cowardly, but it's just a, a, an unethical, professionally speaking thing to do because it's like, if you're going to back out, don't don't wait till there's two weeks left. If you don't want to do the debate, fine. Just don't accept uh, a debate proposal with Kyle Kalinske if you're not actually wanting to debate Kyle Kalinske. That is unethical because you're you're tricking the fans. I mean, Kyle, and here's the thing. A lot of the blame goes on, some of the blame goes on Ann Coulter, but more of it goes on Politicon because it's Politicon's job to make sure that these things are actually confirmed and legitimate because as a professional organization, a convention, I mean, they make money. This is how they, this is their business, right? So you can't have people just pulling out. You can't have that because that's so unprofessional and it's borderline fraud because it's like you tell Kyle that, okay, and I'm assuming this is what Kyle was told by the Politicon people, you know, we have this debate with Ann Coulter that has been confirmed and then uh, all of a sudden Ann Coulter pulls out. Well, it's like it's not Kyle's fault that that happened. So Kyle spent all this time promoting this debate with Ann Coulter and all of a sudden she pulls out. That falls mostly on Polit Politicon gets 70% of the blame, 70, maybe even more percent of the blame because it's their job to hold Ann Coulter accountable and have the rules set in which that's not a system where this can happen. But as I put it very mildly, uh, Politicon definitely, definitely needs to get their stuff together because currently they do not have their stuff together. They have, you know, there was supposed to be the debate. First of all, we didn't even know who David Paklin was debating. I don't even think he's going to 1v1 debate. Uh, but he was supposedly going to do a 2v2. It was going to be Kyle and David versus Charlie Kirk and Candace Owens, which would have been absolutely lit. But Candace Owens has already backed out of that. Is Charlie Kirk going to back out too? I mean, at the moment, we don't know, but it's really only safe to assume that it's not confirmed. Uh, that would have been extremely, extremely entertaining. But, of course, Candace Owens pulled out. Uh, and I, I'm I'm pretty much predicting at this point that I think that Charlie Kirk isn't is gonna pull out too. Um, I don't know why, but I just get that feeling, you know, since Candace Owens pulled out and just the track record of Politicon at this point. So basically, Politicon has been just a complete, you know, garbage fest essentially. And Kyle has been through the ringer in terms of who he's actually going to end up debating. So Originally, it was supposed to be Ann Coulter, and then he was going to be doing panels, and then there was prospect for a 2v2 with David Pakman and Kyle Kalinske, uh, uh, Dave Pakman, Kyle Kalinske versus Candace Owens and uh, Charlie Kirk, but I guess that didn't happen because Char uh, Candace Owens backed out, and Charlie may do that as well. Now, I want to show you guys Kyle speaking about the prospect of the 1v1 debate. He's going to explain the people that, that he floated to Politicon in terms of who he would be down to debate. And then he also afterwards explains the three people that were given to him as options for debate. Check it out. So right now, that is what is scheduled. If that happens, that'll be a lot of fun. Who will I be debating one-on-one? -on -one? Well, this is pretty interesting. Uh, as of right now, what I'm hearing is it's down to one of three people. Number one, Michael Steele, former head of the RNC. Um, that could be a very interesting debate. That could be a very interesting debate. Uh, he's 
in my opinion, a lot more reasonable than Ann Coulter, but I think him and I will still have very strong disagreements. Um, so potentially him, potentially David Frum, Bush's speechwriter, George W. Bush's speechwriter, who came up with the phrase axis of evil, who is an ardent neocon war hawk. Ooh, would that one be interesting? Come to Papa. And then if not him, I hope you're all sitting down for this one. Jesse Lee Peterson. <laughs> for those of you who don't know who Jesse Lee Peterson is, he's um the black guy who despises other black people <laughs> more than any black person has ever despised other black people. I mean, almost to the point where I'm not, I, he might be doing an act. I'm not convinced he's, he really believes the things he says. But he is quite a character, and that would be a fascinating back and forth. So it's one of those three. That's what I'm being told right now for the debate. Um, and as of right now, it's scheduled that I debate, uh, along with David Pakman, Charlie Kirk, and Candace Owens. Here's what I could tell you guys, because I was really annoyed hearing about the Coulter thing. Here's what I could tell you for sure. I told them, hey, listen, here's the deal. This is not cool. I've been promoting this. You made it seem like everything was all set. So we need to ameliorate this in one way or another. So uh, I told them they have to get somebody. You know, I gave them the list of the people that could fill Ann's shoes. I just told you the three from that list that they said, hey, here's the possibilities. Um, but I'm going to be doing an extra panel because I'm annoyed, because I've been promoting me versus Anne, she backed out. All right, so as he explained there, basically what he said was is that he floated, uh, he says that he floated all the names that we wanted him to float, The those names being uh, the main person we wanted Kyle to debate, let's keep it real, Ben Shapiro, okay? It is Ben Shapiro because Ben Shapiro is like this uh, dude who's revered on the right to effectively as a cult following, I would say. And he is somebody who is quite a sophist and just a very, you know, weird guy altogether. Uh, you know, he asked you why you don't want a 100% tax, which is insane. But anyways, that's who we wanted Kyle to debate. And that's who he says he floated. It looks like Ben Shapiro isn't even going to be debating this year. It looks like he's just going to be giving a speech and then doing a town hall, which is very, very lame. But... Anyway, so Kyle broke down there the three people who were given to him as options. Now, <clears throat> here's what I'm going to say, and you guys may disagree with me on this, but that's why I want to know your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. I'm very disappointed with these, with these three people from the list that he was given. So, he says the three people were Michael Steele, David Frum, and Jesse Lee Peterson. Now, I'm going to explain to you guys why I'm disappointed with this list and why there's only one person that I would actually watch a debate with. So... Michael Steele, former RNC chair, you know, I didn't even know about him until the whole resignation thing happened, but there is no, you know, I am not, I am not at all interested in a debate between Michael Steele and Kyle from Secular Talk. First of all, I don't know jack shit about Michael Steele, and I really don't care about the guy. He doesn't seem like anybody interesting, um, and he seems to be like a... He's more of an establishment type is at least what it comes off as, right? I guess you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but the dude is RNC chair. Almost a definition of establishment, right? Um, so I really couldn't care less. If he if he ends up debating Michael Steele, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to watch it because it, it doesn't interest me. It, I don't care about Michael Steele. I wanted to see Kyle debate a new media figure on the right because I find that more interesting, whether it be... Steven Douchebag or Crowder or, you know, uh, Ben Shapiro was obviously the main person. Even Charlie Kirk or some douche like that, right? But just a new media figure that's actually interesting. Uh, rather than these old geezers who I don't find interesting at all. This is, So, Michael Steele, if that debate goes through, I'm sorry, I really am. I'm not going to watch it. Uh, the next option, David Frum. This is potentially even worse. So, David Frum is... Basically, the golden child, I think he was the speechwriter for George W. Bush. Now, David Frum is a neocon. He's a massive neocon. 
he's become never he's a never trumper now because he's sort of of that ilk of the Republican Party, but he is just he represents something that has already been dunked on so many times that it's really not. Uh, I'm not interested in seeing this debate either, and I'll explain why. It's because at this point in time, if you're anybody who supports George W. Bush or supported anything that George W. Bush did, uh, especially the wars that he did, uh, you are believing in things that are so stupid and have already been dunked on so many times that I'm really not interested or intrigued about anything that you have to say. Noam Chomsky has already shed him to pieces. And anybody who's been part of that Bush administration, I like these things have been debated so much that I'm not interested in it anymore. Like it, we know that George Bush is a horrible, horrible person. All the things he did were shit. And I don't mind news stories and discussing those. That's different. But watching like a the debate's probably going to be like an hour, maybe. No, I think it's going to be an hour. It's like, what are they going to debate? You know what I mean? Like, they're both never Trump, but they come from different angles. So, I mean, what are they going to debate? You know what I mean? I'm not interested in it. I'm not, I don't care about David Fromm. He's a fucking loser. Uh, the third one, this is the person that I'm, I'm down to watch the debate. Jesse Lee Peterson. Now, Jesse Lee Peterson, if you don't know, is the dumbest person on the entire planet. Um, he has like his own radio show. He's the dude who's like the black guy who says that, I think he literally said that racism never existed, which is uh, objectively false. Uh, that is objectively a false statement. Uh, but Jesse Lee Peterson is an insane guy. But a debate, a, a, a fucking fully like organized debate between Kyle Kalinske and Jesse Lee Peterson, you have no idea, no idea how entertaining that would be. That would be something I'm going to... Like, if that, if that debate goes through... That's the only of the three debates that I'm down to watch because do you have any idea how hilarious it will be to watch Jesse Lee Peterson and Kyle Kalinske debate? That would be so fucking hilarious. So I, my opinion is I want him to debate Jesse Lee Peterson because that's the only one I'm going to watch because that's the most interesting one in my humble opinion, of course. But you guys can let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about the three prospects? Uh, for me, Michael Steele's a no-no, boring, David Frum, boring, Jesse Lee Peterson, that's entertaining. So if it's not going to be Ben Shapiro, it's not going to be Steven Douchebag Crowder, it's not going to be Candace Owens, it's not going to be Charlie Kirk, it's not going to be whatever other new media figure there is, uh, then, you know, I guess, I guess it has to be Jesse Lee Peterson, man, I guess it has to be him, but the man is, is insane, unbelievably stupid, right, stupidity to... Levels not seen before, but man, is he a funny guy. So inadvertently, obviously. So I cannot, I, I, I hope, okay, here's what I meant to say. If the debate between Kyle Klinsky and Jesse Lee Peterson goes through, I will not be able to watch, I will not be able to wait to watch it because it'll be so damn hilarious.